Me and my wife, Michaela, we've been, we've been working on this for two years now, um, along with Valdemar from, from TASA and then Blue Finance as well. Um, this project was, was designed to, to provide a new, unique, innovative rec site for, for the Caribbean here in Belize. Right now, not only do you come to the healthiest, longest reef system in the Caribbean, you're also going to be able to enjoy an iconic dive, the largest wreck dive in the Caribbean with a ship completely made with concrete. So it's going to be a wonderful experience for coral lovers, fish lovers. There's going to be coral restoration done, coral transplant. It's going to become not just a sink that was sunk, a ship that was sunk. It's going to become in its entire own ecology with the assistance of TASA, University of Belize, and all of the NGOs out here who, who get involved with the reef systems here in Belize. So as, as you recall, the first time I, I got the privilege of standing here, I had to give the bad news where we weren't able to complete this. The second time around, she was also challenging. We didn't expect her to be easy. Um, the method in which she sinked actually made a wonderful dive site. She actually ended up rolling on her side as she sat down, which was anticipated and something we were hoping that would occur that allow you to dive laterally into all of the cargo compartments. The other thing that that allowed us to do is we were able to preserve 35 years of coral growth that's already on the keel of the ship. So three to four feet of coral were already there. Soft coral, it, it moved with the ship here. And because she didn't land on her keel, all of that coral growth is now there, ready to go. I guarantee you there's already fish moved in. The ones that didn't make the journey out here with the ship, they're already finding colorful, beautiful coral to make their own down there. Um, it's going to be a wonderful experience. Come out to Blackbird Key, come join us on Turnef, come dive to Wood Concrete.